up guys, Luke Callahan with Disc Golf Kid here and welcome to episode three of Roadie Rounds. The last one, I won by four. My dad won the first one by four, so we're all squared up. We're gonna do it in like five course segments. So all squared up and then whoever like wins actual stroke play through five rounds, the loser has to do something which we'll decide either later in this video or in another one. But we are starting on hole 10, the back nine at Jonesville Park in Gainesville, Florida. The Gainesville Chainhawks sponsored this course, I believe. Um, we've loved it so far. Definitely a nice little roadie round. So we are all warmed up going into the back nine and we're gonna get right into it. Hole 10 is 285 feet straight ahead and then tails off to the right just a little bit at the end. I'm probably gonna throw a forehand and just try and not hit this one. That one. Oh, I like my chances. I don't like my chances after that. It's a good start. Could be a good omen for this entire nine holes. He's gonna hit the same. I can't remember in the comments, are most people rooting for you or against you? I probably don't even know. You. It's probably they just want to watch. Of course he's gonna oh. Thought he was gonna get through everything. Alright, that's a fairway hit in regulation. U disc stats. I'm a whopping 30 feet off the tee pad. T is right there. There's disc golf grandmother again. <laughs> T, Luke. Oh, that could be real good. That was so good, dang it. We have found disc golf dad's lie. Good. Yep. I might have to come all the way around. You good? Yep, basket is up there. It's deep. Just outside circle. Forgot to mention again, we're both playing out of my bag, just like last video. So we whoever is first on the box or first out gets to pick which disc they want. So if it comes down to it, that's how it works. Also, I don't know how these fly so advantage Luke. Anything I can do to help. He knows how a lot of it. <laughs> Cash. Oh, that was that would have been a nice forty-five Dang footer it. to start the round. Oh, same thing that I did. Two bogeys on hole one. That's what you like to see. All right, I think I've had the box for ten holes now because I had it all of last video. So both bogeyed that hole unfortunately got away with one going into hole 11 that thing in the middle of the fairway yes that's the basket big drop off down there um yeah it's 276 feet and let's see what we can do see if we can get a birdie just to shoot the box aka see if he can get first available I think it's a little long, but it should be good for a birdie. Or at least a birdie putt. I'm so unhappy that you just threw that so close. <sighs> Got this nice up top view for you guys, because I commit. Oh, we clutched up. That's way left though. And a little deep. All right, disc golf dad. Oh, just a little left. Mine is right there, by the way. All right, I was am side the whole way. Luke gets it back to par. Got finally a stroke there on our second hole of the day. Birdie par, so I'm even. This golf dad is plus one. Hole 12, 332 it's looking like. Straight ahead and everything left of this road is OB. Um, yeah, let's do it. Let's see if we can get another one here. That branch totally ruined it. It like nicked it on the That's what branches do tend to do. 
I know, but it was like an Invisibranch. Like a little twig, and it just turned it right into that tree. Dang it. That was looking so good. What did we say it was? 3.30? Mm-hmm. At least it's in bounds. I wanted that line. All right, I'm CTP, obviously. Oh, that's so oh, short. Oh, oh. I mean, just Ladies and gentlemen, crap out of that. I mean, you can make that. You want to say oh, anything? Yeah, because my disc is right here. Where are you going with the discs? Okay, this is his first day on camera. I didn't know you wanted to leave <laughs> the bag 20 feet away. I'm right in front of you. All right, disc off dad here. Pretty terrible. All right, he's got a putt to, I'm here. This is to maintain the one stroke lead. Oh, that was dirty. We're, We're gonna slow-mo that just for proof that that went straight through the chains. Should have caught. As sarcastic as I normally am, I feel terrible. That actually deserved to be in. Darn it. All right, am I on? Yep. All right, this says 345. I took a par on the last hole, Luke. Basically out of par, but it chained through, so bogey. So now we're both one over? Yeah. We got OB all down the left, 345. I don't know if you can see up this tunnel. Headwind. Par would be a fantastic score for me. I can't speak for Luke, but I'm gonna try to go highs or flip down the right. Oh, I wanted that disc. He meant highs or flip turn. Or just right, but then turn it over more also into the... That's lost. All right, I'm absolutely dead here, so punch out. The good news is I think Luke, although farther up, is in real jail. It's pretty good. Okay. Although beautiful back in here, that is what we are looking at. Pin is somewhere that way. Oh my gosh, he's actually going for it. He did have a little bit of crack in the car before getting here. Yeah. Oh my lord. <gasps> did that get out? It's on the edge, but it's a putt. Yeah, dang. Alrighty. It's got about a 70 to 80 footer. Pretty big wind, left to right. Out of work. All right, Luke did in fact get all the way out. That's incredible. Now he's dealing with about a 25 mile an hour wind. Floated it. It is in bounds though. Mine's almost that far. We both have these left for bogey. This is very sad. If you're new to the channel, like just watch another video or something. We're really not this horrible. I meant to put that like at the pole and have it rise up and instead I put it at the basket. I was explaining the headwind as it elevated your disc up. Now he's got it downwind. Cash money dead center. Let's freaking go. Those ones can't spin out. No. These ones can. No way. Watch this. It's gonna be low right and he's gonna complain that it's been out. Oh, just barely dead center. Disc off dad stepping up. Are you ready? Yes, we are. Hole 14, Jonesville, in case you forgot. Just outside of Gainesville, Gatorland. All right, this hole you probably can't see on camera, barely over that clay mound. We can only see the top of the basket. The top it says 245. Right we got a hurricane headwind still. 
I'm gonna go a little raptor out to the left and see if we can get in there. Oh, and for a change, we actually have a pet competition. So normally by now in the round, one of us is up by three or four and just hanging on to the lead. Still dead tied. <laughs> two over. And that's what I was gonna throw. <laughs> Let's just go with tied. Not worry about the overall score. That was way early release, but it's still gonna not work out. Boo. I wanted that too. Yeah. That was a good 15 feet early. definitely work better than mine. Walking up to this Goktad's spot with the bystander. Disc golf grandma on the catch cam. Oh, we need the catch cam on that one. Pressure is on. Just nailed a 45 footer into the wind. This is not easy. Let me back up in case you throw it, OB. I think we the subscribers will give you that. Huh? We'll give you that. Eight foot. Boom. Now you are. All right. Fortunate to get a birdie back there. Luke Pard, so I'm one over. He's two over. Hole 15, 375. Advantage Luke, because I don't think I can even throw 375. Big turnover. Headwind should help it turn over. But right on the tree line. Golf Dad can't even get halfway there, so let's see what he does. Max rips his Hades. That's the farthest throw I've ever seen him throw. That might be a putt. That's inside the circle. That's the best let's throw go, he's baby. ever thrown in his life. It, he's not wrong. He says that a lot, but on this particular instance, he's correct. I can't do a slow turnover from 375 with any consistency. But you know what? The camera was on. Oh my, I knew I should have gone rolling. That's terrible. He outdrove me. How embarrassing is that? You got a putt. Do I? I mean, more like a throw in, but you got something. All right, we got Luke's pin over yonder. My disc. That's not what you want to see. Where's three words in disc golf? Hey, disc golf grandmother, what were you saying about mine? Oh, really nice throw. So much better than Luke's. Yeah, tell them. Tell them all about it. I couldn't even see Luke's. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I mean, you probably still saw it, and you just didn't see it go in. You still up, or is that me? I don't know. Look how close that thing went, like, Paul. Let's see if you can get it in. Uh, it probably was me, but I'll let Luke putt. Good hit. Alrighty, disc golf dad for a three stroke lead. Chain out left. Didn't think I could actually throw it through Chain out left. He can't. This is me up. <coughs> oh! Uh. No, you did not! No! Have I ever. <laughs> I've ever missed a putt from right here. No, you did not. Oh my not. gosh. That's embarrassing. Okay, I mean, you have to putt that. I just watched you miss one from 15 feet. Okay. Whew. Oh my goodness. At least you made that one, guys. All right, guys, walk into the next tee. Disc golf dad's not with me. He just missed a 15 footer for the best birdie of his life. He'll never have that opportunity ever again. So I want you guys to go ahead and comment. We still love you, Disc golf dad, even though you missed 15 footers. Sure. And then maybe like a, your son's really? better than you at putting. You know, we all know that's not true. Yeah, thanks guys. Alrighty, disc golf dad's tee. I don't want to talk after that. Whatever that was, I'm still up one or two? Two, because I bogeyed. Hole 16, 292, pretty much straight away. Big right to left wind. I'm going Z-Tracker, I've never thrown this disc. Just another one in Luke's bag, but I don't know what it does. 
It would be great if I could say that about that putter. I had no idea. Yeah, but that is his putter. Why is so high? The Hades is also his. Okay. It's the second best shot of his life after the one he just threw. It's in the ditch. That'll work. Yeah. Basically the same putt I just freaking ugh airballed. Going tight eye raptor. Oh, he's going high route. He forgot about that wind. Look at that right to lefter. Oh, that's so deep. This one might be over, folks. Can he keep it together? All right, Luke's up shot from the neighbor's tee pad. That's good. That's a good up, especially in all this wind. All right, guys, you know, sometimes people just start talking in your backswing and you gotta live with it even though it may be really annoying and then you shank one in the woods but it's fine you know we're still gonna win he's gonna miss this oh that is no gimme oh no disc golf that is crumbling under the pressure oh no that is no gimme you are still out don't miss this one Oh no! Oh no! Alrighty guys, Disc Golf Dad just pulled a Disc Golf Kid on that last hole, especially two holes in a row. So we are only down one now with two to go. And I'm the momentum is kind of switching. I'm feeling it. I feel like I'm gonna pull it together, pull a win here, or at least get it to a tie going into round four. <laughs> I'm gonna flick my Raptor and it might skip in, honestly. This thing has never let me down under the pressure when I need to, except for that last one. And this hole. That's a putt though. I may have thrown it like That's a little a girl, but it's a putt, so I can't be that mad. I'm still stunned, like what just happened? I just parked two holes in a row and went one over through those two. All right, let's get it. Couldn't be me. Oh no. Oh no. The pressure is getting to him. All right. At Disc Golf Dad's lie, around 45 feet away with a right to left wind. Let's see what he can do. No freaking way, you're so bad at this game. He's nervous, but on the surface he looks calm and ready. Love to see it. Yep. Hole 18. We went birdie bogey on the last one, which gave me two, so I'm up three. Out of the last four holes, I buried the last two I would have expected to. 18 is 301 right there. <laughs> OB long and right. Dude thinks it's funny. I'm gonna go Undertaker up the right. Alrighty. Right into that tree trunk. That's what I meant by right. So I need to go birdie bogey or ace bogey. Correct. To tie it up. Or double. Yep. So I'm going same line except I got to try and make it. All right. Get it. Skip it in there. All air. All air. Oh, do it. Oh, do it. Dang it. Oh, the Thank branches you. robbed it. Not three times, that's exaggerating. You're giving him a big head on YouTube. Oh, okay, don't get too ego. Make sure to always stay humble. There you go. 
You ready? Yep. 45 feet, super low ceiling. I could lay it up and still get the victory, but this is where playing for strokes matters because I got to try to see if I can get even another one. You know what? I'm going to take the mark. I think I can get there. Oh, that could be a bogey. If I would have just made the friggin' hole in one. For sure. No risk it, no biscuit. Oh, Go Tampa Bay Bucks. Just had to show you guys how to pick up women first. Now I'll make. He was actually hitting on that dude's girlfriend. <laughs> oh. God, Still me, running. Dude. Look at the roll. <laughs> oh, the second one? Yeah. Oh, this could be my second three putt in three holes. Will be, is what you meant to say. Just barely creeps it over. All right, I'll go ahead and All right, you give us an outro All right, as you right. tap in. Kind of just keeping up the theme of, we'll get out of the way so they can throw and walk over here. We're just going blowout to blowout. So he won by four the first time, I won by four the second time. Now he won by three, so that just naturally means I'll win by three the second time. But if you guys are new, make sure to subscribe. Thank you for watching. Let me know if you guys like this series, because it's pretty fun to do, and it gives us Shout out the to course in the disc golf the uh, club again. Way. Well, it was Chain Hawks yep. in Gainesville, Florida, so if you're ever around here, go check them out. Let me know if you did, and we'll see you in the next one.